For my summer vacation this year, we went to Washington, D.C. We stayed in the Capitol Hill area, which is really beautiful and is home to many buildings of political significance, such as the United States Supreme Court and the Library of Congress. But most importantly, the Capitol itself is where the Congress of the United States meet and federal laws are made and passed. I was blown away by the beauty and grandeur of the architecture, as it reminded me very much of Paris or Rome. It was then that I learned that the layout of DC had been designed by a French-born American architect, Pierre L'Enfant, who was obviously influenced by European architecture, having studied art at the Royal Academy at the Louvre. We also visited Arlington Cemetery, which is the final resting place of President John F. Kennedy and many of his family members. It is a beautifully maintained cemetery, with a fabulous view of the city of DC. We walked around and came upon so many amazing buildings and monuments. For example, we visited the Lincoln Monument. There is a huge statue of President Abraham Lincoln inside, and an inscription of the Gettysburg Address on the wall, where Lincoln had reiterated the principles of human equality conjured up by the Declaration of Independence. I saw the World War II Monument, the Korean War Monument, and the Vietnam War Monument, each with dedications to lives lost in these events and a stark reminder of the futility of war. We visited the Thomas Jefferson Monument, a beautiful structure in the likeness of a Roman round temple. Take a look at how similar it is to the Pantheon in Rome. Inside, there is a large statue of America's third president, Thomas Jefferson, with many inscriptions of his speeches. From the monument, you can see many of DC's famous sites, for example, the White House and the Washington Monument. The Thomas Jefferson Monument is by far my favorite place in Washington, DC. How about you? Do you have an interesting story to tell about your summer vacation?